Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off The Record where we talk about whatever we want. Off The Record! I'm still gonna do it, I still wanna do it. Today we have a test! What up? Hey. And he's representing that old school Street Fighter 2. That's tight, man. Oh, loser. Did you just rub your nipples? No, the shirt's a little tight, oh, but maybe. Oh. Now right at his nipples. Who's your favorite yeah, you uh, who character? Yeah, who did you use and who's your favorite character? Who, who did you think? The Indian one. one. See, that's also? what everyone would think. No, and by saying. Was that racist? No, yes, I mean, it is. No, it's yes, not. It so, is. No, you know, no, 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 wait. So I would always use the girl because I'm a girl and I want yeah, to be represented. I only so used her because she did this move where she's upside down. You see her Because you're a pervert. It's true. You are you because I like karate. You see, because he's Japanese. I used Bison, because I was just... He was tight, because he was like... Yeah, he just like, he was the boss, too. No, I chose E-Honda really. e because yeah. it was the only one I could relate to. E-Honda. <laughs> E-Honda, e e fat oh, yeah. sumo wrestler. E-Honda, e e this Japanese. one. Sumo. I like oh. Guile, too. What was her name? Chung Lee. Chung -Lee. Uh, How do you not know this? Balrog was, know. was an interesting character. I know Chung Lee. Balrog? Know, everyone Chung -Lee. forgets him. I think everyone sleeps who? on him. Who? Let me see. Balrog? He yeah. basically Mike was Mike Tyson. Tyson. Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> but I liked his level. Did you know that was his, his name was M. Bison in the Japanese game? Yes, and they switched yeah. it. And they, yeah. 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 M. Bison? Like yeah, Mike Tyson? Too close to Mike Tyson. Like Mike Tyson's Ooh. likeness. Yeah. M. Bison. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you act, yes? I do act. I pretend. <laughs> I pretend to act. Uh, Shakespeare? A yeah. little bit, yeah. Uh, went to NYU, classically trained. My mom would be proud. Didn't go to med school like everyone else. So your so major your was like proud. film or major? <laughs> my, both my parents are doctors, that's why. Uh, uh, yeah, did, they, did they do the whole like, oh. <sighs> you know, it was, uh, I'm, I'm one of three. I have an older brother. He went to school for business and they always thought I was going to be the doctor. And growing up, I thought I was going to be the doctor. Mm. And around eighth grade, I was like, this sucks. Wait, you were already going to like- Wait, really? really? damn, you got your no, destiny like, set early, no, no, no. so like I knew. Like by the time I'm like basically can walk and talk, my parents are like, you're going to be a doctor. Oh. oh. So they try to brainwash you. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to explain yeah. this to you guys. Both of your parents are doctors, you're already thinking about career paths way early. Yeah, way early. Like I'm like, I'm into this. My dad's, my dad's a hand surgeon, so he would project damn. his surgeries on the wall on like a Kodak projector, old school. While you guys you were eating like, dinner? Guys. Just like, I'd be sitting there. No, like I'd come home from school and then be on the wall. I'm like, what are you doing? Check this out. Yeah, and it's just like some dude's hand that's split open. Too it's bad like, he wasn't a gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> all over the wall. <laughs> but be that would be, I, I, you know. Oh my God. No, I never You're thought so about fast. that. I never thought about that. <laughs> that's fucking funny. Joe's mind is like, I want to see pussy. <laughs> but do gynecologists, do, do they take pictures of all mine does, that all would be the time. Weird. I don't know, I've never been to the gynecologist. Yeah. Fuck, I'm wearing the wrong one then. Damn. Yeah. And they always ask them to wear lingerie. <laughs> oh my god! Did you hear Gio? What'd you say? He always makes me spread it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, no that's normal, right? Oh, well, you have to go so to the examine it, right? That's what I'm thinking. All of our girlfriends, like, examinations always happen at nice hotels. Really, really nice ones. They get a hotel? Yeah, and then they have to, you know, they have to dress That's in lingerie. Fancy. You should go to Damn. That yeah. I was told it's very painful because they have to put the duckbill platypus in. All the vagulum speculum. Yeah. Vagul and it's, and it's cold, right? Yeah. It's like not really comprehensive. Well, now they have like plastic fish. ones. Yeah. So that's better. Bad. But does it feel better? Why don't no. they put it in the microwave yeah, first? Like yeah, like they warm, warm it up. up. I don't know, they're awesome. Because then it's too sensual, dude. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. You, you know, feel like a dick. the first time I saw that was in porn. Wait, so what? <laughs> the medical apparatus? The, the thing? The thing? The spreader? Ew! It's called speculum. It just looks like Predator's mouth, doesn't it? <laughs> it does look like a duck bill. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, shit! <laughs> it's better to stick it in than look at it. <laughs> it looks like the thing that girls curl their fucking... No, it doesn't. Oh, it looks like a duck does. bill. Wow. Yeah, but, oh, but yeah, it's the yeah, other way. Yeah. Yeah. But the opposite one. Yeah. yeah. So how did you know, when did you know going to be an actor? So, yeah, it was like eighth grade. Damn! Eighth grade. What? I was like, that's this is what, what I gotta do. Because I was like, I gotta convince my parents. Yeah. So you were already acting. Yo, that's yeah, like I, I did like all the school things, the school oh. plays. I was I was really into uh, like martial arts and, and Michael Jackson. Oh, what? Did we just become Michael best friends? Michael Jackson yeah. and martial Rangers. arts. We hey. Yeah. For sure, best and friends. And so like, hence the t-shirt. <laughs> so like, I, I did Taekwondo for a very long time and that kind of was like obsessed with Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, all that stuff. Did you grow up in a minority neighborhood? No, not at all. Where I would say in a small town called Mayapak, New York. 
which is in Putnam County. So, so it's about like, like an hour north. Or something? It's like an hour north. He's saying words right now. Dude. <laughs> I know he's in Putnam, <laughs> maybe. It's, it's outside of the Bronx. All I know like is everyone knows where that is. Syracuse? No, we're far from that. And I only know New York. Do you know, I'm trying to think, you know where Scarsdale is? Chapel. Buffalo? No, very far from that. I know where the mm -hmm. school like where the Cl Clintons would live there. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. We don't know anything. It's an hour north. Way more educated than the rest of us, okay? It's all good. Did, so did they have roles that like fit you? Because I remember no. we watched I watched Wizard of Oz, and since I went to a school with like 50% Asians, like the wizard was Asian, the lion was Asian, it was just oh, a bunch of like cheeky oh, awesome. eyes on stage, yeah. I played the scarecrow in high school. Oh, cool. So, but they had to paint my face. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I could have been any race. Ambiguous. I could have been any race. Tin man. But this is a fucking scarecrow. <laughs> you just had straw and shit. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You're uh, a lion too. You just have. A yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think. Now I'm trying to think of all this. The lion like, was like, Asian as yeah, fuck. It was like, like, you know kid friendly musical. Yeah, anybody could be anything. I did. I did do Jesus Christ Superstar, and I did play Judas. Oh. So oh I was no. Like, you know the ultimate. They would have the dark guy play Judas. Exactly. Like everyone was white yeah. and they had the one brown kid be yeah. like the, the ultimate guy. biblical villain. I know. <laughs> I always thought in my in my house I have the the fucking last supper and yeah. I always thought How did you call it fucking last supper? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fucking thing. It is the last a supper. Rectangle. I'm talking about how the you cussed before the something fucking biblical fucking rectangle oh. with people in it. Well yeah, the fucking last supper. Amen. And so I remember Ju Judas was a dude with the fucking with the bag, the coin purse. Yeah. I was like, that fool was the dopest. And then my dad was like, no, he betrayed Jesus. I was like, but he has money. Mm. That's what it's, you know. So I used to like Judas a lot. He's conspiring in that yeah. in, the, in that piece. He's kind of like having that secret. Yeah. yeah. I just thought he was rich. No, our yeah. family would use Hudas. He was Judas. Lord Baelish. Yeah. He was Hudas. Lord Hudas. Baelish. Hudas. Hudas. Yeah, to call you like a backstabber. Well. They're like, fucking Hudas. Did you guys do the also, do the also fucking Chinese motherfucker? <laughs> so you have the fucking, uh, you know, the, the ink blot where you would see Jesus Christ? No. And if you, well, we saw it in bread, tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> But you would have Maria. There's this very famous ink blot where you see the face of Jesus Christ, and there was this thing that they would always say in Korean church: if you can't see Jesus, then you're a sinner and you're going to hell. I couldn't see it till I was like 16, so I just thought I was. That's when you. Oh shit. That's like a magic eye. Yeah. Wait, but it like it just came to you when you were 16. I just I just crossed my eyes a little bit and then it came out. Did you think you got the power? You like found your power? Well, I just thought that I was a good Christian now. I was like, well, I could see I could see Jesus's face, but my parents would just it was a joke. I didn't know. You know, so I just thought I was a terrible. You didn't think it was weird that finally when he got boners, you could see Jesus' face. <laughs> <laughs> I could see God. It's so, a weird coincidence. Yeah, like did that all throughout high school and convinced my parents. It wasn't, you know, if I think if I was really terrible at, you know, I, I wanted to be an actor, and we did a lot of musicals, so I used to sing and that kind of stuff. If I really, if I really sucked, I think my parents would have been the first person to be like, you know what, you you suck, just forget it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe because it wasn't an overnight thing. Because you like seem the... dedicated to Yeah, it was it was they're you like, know years you know in the making. Absolutely. He wants to dance. Yeah, so they're they're dance. very, very supportive. I've you know, I talked to other Asian kids and Indians and you know, they, they don't it's different. Yeah. yeah. But see I feel like your step is so different though because a lot of Asian kids that I talk to, they don't do the work to show that they can do it. They just you have know what I mean? Well, you know, I just kind of I approached it like anything else. I was like, you know, if you wanna be a basketball player or tennis player. Your parents are gonna throw your piano, right? Do the scales a million times. So if I showed them, oh, I can do this and I wanna do it by myself and I show them the initiative, yep. then they'll just get off my back. That's, and that's what I always say too. Like I always wish there would be more kids that have that story. Responsibility? Than, yeah, because there's always the story of like, my yeah. parents don't believe in me. I was like, but you don't put in the work, so how, why would they? Yeah, me? exactly. <laughs> you know? yeah, why would they? I, would, I don't believe in you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but it's just, I think from a parent's point of view, it's just scary because, you know, of course. they immigrate to this country, they want to give you a better life. And you want to I, fucking dance in a play? Yeah, like, exactly. What's wrong with you? Why dance around? You want to be for coins? I know. You know? They're probably sitting in the play is, he wants to be a straw man? What the fuck? Uh, yeah. He's trying so hard to I be know. gay. It's like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why are you trying so hard? You're supposed to be born that way, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, we didn't have shoes, I didn't have clothes, like yeah. all this stuff. They told you those stories? My dad, my dad's one of eight, so, and he was the youngest. Okay. So I, I kind of I believe that, you know. That you well, he told me, he's like, I didn't have shoes until I was eight. And I was like, what are you talking about? He probably got good feet. Uh, probably. <laughs> he probably. That's where I got my dancing moves from. But then, then I show up, I'm like, I want to be an actor and poor for the rest of my life. You know? So it's like... It'd be kind of really upsetting. But it all, it all worked out. What, what's four years of like, 
theater or like film, ma like what what does that feel like? You're an acting yeah. major? Bullshit. No, it's, really? it's uh, I would say it's half and half. It's different, it's really kind of what you make of it. Especially a school like NYU who yeah. like are yeah. known for film. You have so many outlets and so many opportunities to kind of uh, expose yourself and learn and train and. Like what are some classes that you take? So like freshman year, I took, I, I, say, I can remember my schedule. I had uh, movement in the morning, which is basically- Like blocking or? No, it's like just getting to know your body. Why? Like it's, this? Yeah, like they'll be like stand up. I remember our first class with the master teacher was we just had to stand up straight for an hour. Fuck that, oh, I'm so dropping hard. out yeah. immediately. And people would faint. And I'm be like, like yeah. locked knees and everything. Yeah, you just stand, just stand up, just relax, just stand. Like the laziest right. professor in the world. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, I'm there like you're gonna stand there, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be fucking easy. And of course, like 15 minutes oh, in, no, someone hits the floor, and I'm like, oh, what shit. the fuck? I would not be able to stand still for an hour. Damn. I would lose my fucking. Well, it mind. just you'll be surprised. You know, people are awkward, like physically awkward. Mm -hmm. If you go, hey, walk across the stage, and you're like, why do you walk with the stick up your ass? And then you realize, oh, that's just how that person. Because they're only thinking upper body. Or it's not even that. You don't even yeah. know what's going through their head. They're not connected. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're just not thinking. Oh, I'm a different person. You know, my mm. person may walk differently, have a different gait, just have different energy. Yeah. And you're like, why are you walking that way? And it's the 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 purpose of the class is so that you can get attuned with your own body, that you're able to make choices then are that are different from you. A lot can happen from staying still. So I do this thing with my. Um, the, the karate place that I train at, we do 90 minute horse dances. Yes. Impossible. And <laughs> the weirdest impossible. thing starts happening when you're forced to stay Correct. in one position and you're doing it with a group. Yeah. Because it's, you're not, no one's ever gonna be able to do this alone. Mm -hmm. You'll oh, yeah. break like a motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you see this right, like, mentality, yeah, the yeah, mom mentality. You start understanding and you start getting bored too. So you start exploring and isolating different parts of your body. Yeah. And not only that, just dealing with that stillness is the most terrifying thing any human being has to go through. That shit's fucking hard, especially for me. Cause I'm fidgety as hell. Yeah, they didn't do the teacup tea challenge for you guys? What's that? Yeah. They make you stand in a horse, tan horse dance and they will put boiling teacups on your thighs. Oh, that's advanced. No, we just yeah. so that if you break yeah. it, the water, the whole point is that you have to keep the horse dance long enough so that the water cools down. You got a Korean ass fucking instructor, huh? Oh yeah. No, we would just do 90 minute horse dances. Two, there were two white guys. Two white yeah. guys? There were two white guys. Taekwondo thing. <laughs> no, that is not a thing. They made that shit up. That's what they told me. Damn. Yeah. So, I'm trying to think. The Grand Master was Korean, and then we had a master, I don't know what his, where he was from. He was brown. I think he was Filipino. Oh. Grand Master Sanchez. <laughs> Chung Ma, that was his name. Chung Ma. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Just the simplest things that, I realized like I didn't connect with my lower body or like I didn't even think and feel my feet. Yeah. The, just different parts like, yeah. It's just about awareness. So then like, yeah. you know, they do that and then you have your normal like, here's our scene studies class, here's our script analysis class and then we have voice and speech which just focuses on talking. Like training your voice to- To project? Project, uh, be audible, be clear, strengthening kind of like the You sound like you muscles. could give the news right now. Yeah. I could try. Take over. Yeah. No, like a news cat. You just have to enunciate. Damn, I feel like I need to but go they, back to school. They do the weird voice though, because I, I I know weird a couple voice? new. Yeah, like newscasters don't talk the way uh, they talk on TV. Yeah, like, that's weird. Hello, like surprised. today we're on fucking George Takei. He talks like that all the time. Oh, yeah. He does all the does. time. He does. Hello, David. It's really great to meet you. I was like, hey, bro, camera's not on, man. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard him take a shit? It's the same way. Like, oh god, that was hard. Oh, ow, <laughs> have you heard him take a shit? Yeah, I was in the same bathroom with him. Oh. <laughs> Get me the toilet paper. Yeah, because I did like this, I forgot what it was, but it was something through YouTube where I, I got to work with him, yeah. and then it threw me off. I was like, why is he still talking like He's that? always in character. Yeah, he goes, you're very funny. <laughs> I'm like, I guess. <laughs> you're weird, bro. You made you uncomfortable. <laughs> I like that humble brag that you just did, though. George Takei? Well, no. Oh, you said really he funny. said you're really funny. I like well, that humble brag. Most people do, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but George Takei though, I freaked out when I met him because he's somebody that I saw growing up as a kid. Yeah, of course. But nobody else gave a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, I just saw him yeah, growing yeah. up. Yeah, so I'm like, well, fucking George Takei. Yeah. So, you know. Nobody he's always did. at the Asian film festival. Dude, that's where I had him take a shit. He's a forefront of a lot of things, dude. Asian people and gay people. Yeah. Just boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, just, he's, you know, what fighting like, Beat me up, Scotty. No. Oh, that's a different thing. he's so fucking tired of that shit. His uh, manager is also his husband. Oh. oh. Yeah, very nice guy. I bet you they fight a lot. He takes a cut. 
Oh, I think she takes up the ass, is that what you were going to say? <laughs> <laughs> you, think, you still think he takes his money? I'm pretty sure, yeah. What do they do? They just share it? I guess. A separate bank account? It depends on how good he's embedded. <laughs> you were bad. I'm going to take 15% today. I would do that. I would use that as leverage. That's so cool. Yeah. So Did fast forward to now, like what yeah. kind of projects have you worked on? <clears throat> um, so my most recent project was a show called Russian Doll. Uh, that was on Netflix. Starring that sounds Joshua sexy. Long. It's a great oh, show. Oh, is that the one where it keeps repeating? Yeah. Oh. yeah girl keeps None of you guys have seen it? I, I wanted to watch yeah, it. I saw the first episode. So. I gotta check it out. It? Yeah, you guys should watch it. It's really good. Uh, I play, um, I don't want to give away too much for yeah. anyone at home who hasn't seen it. Okay, I'll watch it now. It's, it's great. It's highly reviewed. Look it up. You know, I think it's got like 99% of Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, cool. It did have 100 at one point. Because I watched the preview and I was like, this is dope. And then there was a Flat Earth documentary and watched oh, that okay. instead. <laughs> you had to educate yourself. <laughs> Wait, I think I clicked on that one too. Yeah. Is it what? a guy that he, he has like, he has, he's wearing a t-shirt that says like Flat Earthers? Yeah. Oh, so no. what are they, what's their argument? So, yeah, well basically the whole documentary is exploring the whole culture, the world, okay. and everything. Okay. And um, it's based off of this guy, I think he's called like the general or the captain, or he's like the dad. Captain of, America. Yeah, he's like a really popular guy. I forgot his name, but... Um, Master, just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> Grandmaster Flat Earth. Yeah, but it's 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 really like about the whole community and, and, and you know, how everyone kind of believes the same thing, and, and the and it's just a whole entire world. It's interesting. Everyone looks like a loser, though. We should have them do horse dances. We should have them do the t the teacup test and see. It's pretty funny. <laughs> you should watch it. All right, what else? What else? Uh, so I did Russian Doll. Before that, uh, I was on a show called Stitchers, which was on Freeform. We did three seasons of that. It's canceled. What's Freeform? Yeah, it used to be ABC that. Family. ABC Family, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, most people don't thing? know that. Is it? No, no, it was on TV. Oh. I know. Nobody even knows. I feel like I don't want to. Well, I mean, just TV shows come in and out all the time. Yeah, yeah, no, but they they kind of I don't know why they ABC Family became Freeform and then nobody knew what the network was called. Mm. Still to yeah, this why day. Why do they change the name? Because they're not a family network anymore. Oh. Because I used to laugh because I think like on Pretty Little Liars the teachers used to hook up with the students like in yeah. the story of the show. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's really family oriented. I was yeah. like, isn't this? Aren't they sixteen? Oh, so they changed the yeah. branding. I was like, isn't this rape on the show? Yeah. I was like, what's going on? Yeah, like, but like no one cared. You know? Yeah, yeah. Werewolf shit, Marvel shit, like death and stuff. So it's yeah. not really. Family. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're they're moving away towards you know and moving towards kind of more adult content. So they were like, we got to drop family. Let's go with Freeform, which I thought was a, just a weird name because yeah. it has you no. Just called it like a a ABC. ABC two. <laughs> ABC yeah. two. Yeah. ABC like two. MTV2. Yeah, then MTV one, MTV two. Just like one, two, three. There you go. I would have remembered that. Oh, yeah, one, two, three. ABC, ABC, ABC and one, two, three. DEF. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. X Y Z. They should just re then, like all the Disney's should just be A B C D E F G H I J. You know. Yeah, that's good. ESPN changes. See, we should be coming up with names. X Y Z. Yeah. They have enough channels to. Yeah, they own. They own now. They own. Well, we took J K, so they can't use that. And we only got two letters or three. Oh, J K F. <laughs> J K N. Um, for this. J -K yeah. P. So what was I'm like now? So I had Stitchers, and then I just I had the Jungle Book before that. So uh, the movie, the movie, yeah. I oh played, shit! I played Mowgli's father, and I did all the motion capture for Mowgli, which was cool because I got to work with John Favreau every day for basically nine months. Is he a cool guy? Great guy, love him. You have to say that? No, I don't. <laughs> I he keeps, he keeps I, will, I will say this, and if he ever sees this, yeah. I, I hope he laughs about it. There were certain times where I was like. I f basically did the whole movie for all the graphic artists yeah. uh, and the motion capture artists and that kind yeah. of stuff. And there was one point where I was doing a scene and it was it was an emotional scene. And I look over and I just see him and he's playing Clash of Clans on his phone. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh shit. Because <laughs> you wanted to impress him? <laughs> God damn it. Damn. I was like, Oh man, well, I'll be back tomorrow. Like another another day. Do you call him John? Yeah, I call him John. I call him John. John? Yeah, but he's a great guy, super smart. That's so funny. Um, can't wait for Lion King. That just goes to show no matter how important your work is, <laughs> no. everyone Everyone's gets bored. Same. Everyone gets bored. Yeah. And, and I get it, yeah. you know? There's nothing in the room. It's like me in a motion capture suit yeah. with a bunch of puppeteers. With all the, like, the little balls. dots. Yeah, it's not like the set and there's a river and foliage. And you're, you're expecting him to be like captivated by a performance and he's just like, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna hire you for the yeah. next movie, right? You're my I look over and he's just like, Shit, like my my clan. My clan is getting rocked. You're watching amateur porn and shit. 
<laughs> a girl getting addicted to the face is like, yeah. Oh, but, uh, uh, how does he even know if he liked that take or not? Oh, you no, know, because he can go back and watch it. It was really crazy. So he was just like, I'm just gonna get like three takes of this. No matter, I don't care. Yeah, I mean, it was more. They were doing so much new stuff with kind of the computer technology. Yeah. Um, for that movie that uh, I think half of it was just like, yeah, we'll look at it in post or whatever. Oh. The computers and they can, cause he could go in afterwards and basically change the angle and the view and zoom in and zoom wow. out. And it was cool. some really pretty amazing stuff. So uh, it was cool. And Didn't then- Travis work on that too? Yeah, that's where I met Tra Travis oh, Wong. Yeah. yeah, he's insane. Yeah, so him and I got close on that. So I know like Travis and Ben and Paul, like all the jam guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so that's I know- That's cool. All, yeah. I want to talk to Yeah, so Travis was, was, was basically my stunt guy. Oh, okay. So anytime I was like, all right, we're gonna roll down a hill. And I was like, see ya, Travis, fuck, yeah. break your leg. Damn. He also did stunts for Mowgli too, right, or no? Yeah, yeah, so it was, what, what happened was they didn't have the kid. Yeah. They didn't uh, have Neil cast yet. So, and they had to get started with the movie and the artists had to start building the world and all the animals. So we basically did, the easiest way to describe it is like, I would put on the suit, and then I'd put on an Oculus Rift, and then I would have a one-to-one. -one. Like, I would see myself in 3D form, yeah. but as a child. Cool. Oh, Crazy. super cool. Yeah, so it would be me, like, running around like Mowgli in the loincloth, the hair. <clears throat> and then the puppeteers also had, like, puppet, like, motion capture puppets mm. that were the animals. Mm. So for, like, the Panther, there was two actors, like, for the front legs and the back legs. And the front, Whoa. the person who had the front legs would talk. Uh, and, we would, and we would film it that way, and then basically what you get is like a really rough looking, like PlayStation 1 version of the movie. Yeah. Uh, and they kind of just cool. use it for storyboarding or, you know, pre-visuals, pre, -visuals, pre yeah, yeah. is what they call it. So then once they hired the kid, they were like, this is kind of what we want to do. And then he'd go in and so he copied all your work? Maybe. That's I, don't cool. I don't want to say that. Yeah. He was inspired. He was inspired. <laughs> okay, we'll call it copy. <laughs> yeah, I copied that shit. 